Date, time, and temperature, Sunday, June 25th, 9.30 a.m. at 79 degrees. The sun is out. The temperature is supposed to hit 85 degrees in the Boston area. And if you live in this area, you understand how special the day this is because it has literally rained the last 40 days in Massachusetts. Like, literally, every single day it's rained. It's been chilly. June was a total washout. So I'm going to take this opportunity to enjoy the nice day. It is supposed to rain a little bit later, but well, not till later this afternoon. Listen, I'll take what I get, okay? I've got a semi-healthy breakfast of pineapple and bacon. Pineapple and bacon, two of my favorite pizza toppings, which is a perfect segue for today's detour. Since it's gonna be a nice day weather-wise, I figured this was a perfect day to jump on the Green Line train, take you back into the city of Boston, where there just so happens to be Boston Pizza Festival 2023. That's right, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna eat pizza, we're gonna drink beers, we're gonna take in the sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste of Boston, Massachusetts. That was an awful experience. I knew I should have driven. After an hour and a half train ride, I knew I should have driven. It would have taken me 15 minutes. After an hour and a half train ride, oh, by the way, the train broke down after three stops. Gonna get on another train. After an hour and a half train ride, we have finally made it to today's detour destination, Boston's Government Center, home of Pizza Festival 2023. And check out the line to go into this event. It is wrapping around the corner. Once we finally get to make it inside of Boston Pizza Festival 2023, we'll have over 30 options of pizza. That's right, my friends. There's over 30 pizza vendors in there serving up hot pieces of cheese pie. Admission is totally free of charge. And once you get in there, you buy pizza tokens. It's $3 per token. How many pieces of pizza do I get to eat? I bet I give you a bunch of pieces of pizza. How many beers am I going to drink is the question. Damn, the line for Pizza Festival is going all the way down the staircase to Faneuil Hall Marketplace. The line for the beer garden is much shorter than the line for the Pizza Festival. So I think I'm getting in this line. Here are the beer selections over here at the beer garden. I'm not familiar with any of these beers. I'm trying a new beer today. I dig that. I got myself the Workers Pint Blonde Ale. Well, there is the end of the line for Boston Pizza Festival. I think I'm gonna wait for that line to dwindle down a little bit more. Join myself an ice cold beer here in this beautiful Sunday afternoon. The beer garden's got a chill vibe. Plenty of places to sit and drink. And it's got a fantastic view of Faneuil Hall. I don't see any street performers down there quite yet. I do enjoy watching these street performers do their thing. The Ghostbuster type clouds are forming above the city of Boston. It's not supposed to rain till five o'clock. What time is it now? It's uh, 1230. I don't know if this line is worth it, man. Go down the staircase, then you come back up the staircase. Then you go up another staircase. Then you get a wrap around government center. Offer some pizza? Yeah, that's crazy. Down the staircase, then back up the staircase. Then you get a wrap around government center just to get a chance to get some pizza in there, $3 pizza. Boston's got a bunch of good pizza places. I don't need to wait in line. That guy's going fast. I'm not gonna wait in line to get that pizza. I think I'm gonna abort mission. Look at that line. I can get pizza right over here. I just came across Mr. Samuel Adams, an American patriot. He said, Derek, don't step in that line for the pizza fest. You can get pizza anywhere in Boston. Step over here to my tap room. There's absolutely no line. This detour started off being about one subject. It's now turning into just a, a walk around Boston, which I'm cool with. Hey, it's my cousin from Boston. Here is the beer menu at the Sam Adams Tap Room. I'm looking for my favorite Sam Adams Port Rocker. I don't see it up there. Since there's no Port Rocker, I'm getting the number two of Sam Summer. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, this place is cool. You get ice cool Sam Adams and then come over here and play some Galaga. Here is the brewery at the Sam Adams Tap Room. This isn't the main Sam Adams Brewery here in Boston, but they do brew some beers here on site. Closed today, being Sunday and all.
the rain. This detour is absolutely doomed. Poor train service, long line at the Pizza Fest. Now it's raining. Luckily I have cover over here at the Salty Dog. Got myself some shelter out of the rain over here at the Salty Dog. Got myself a Salty Dog house beer. I can't tell if that's the rain or my tears falling from the disappointment of today's detour. That pan right over there has got the clam chowder. Everybody comes to Boston for the clam chowder. I'm not a seafood guy. I come to Boston for the oyster crackers. The rain has subsided. Now we have a guy over here juggling knives. And in his finale, he gets up on a really big unicycle while juggling knives. So let's go check him out. Everybody, ooh. And ah. And ooh la la. Looking more dangerous than you think. I'm not wearing underwear. Well, it looks like the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Boston location has not opened yet. In fact, it looks like there's been no progress since the last time I brought you down here last summer. If you're in the Faneuil Hall area, you gotta stop over here at the Black Rose. It's a must stop for every Boston visitor. The Black Rose is one of my favorite Irish bars here in the city of Boston. I grabbed myself a snake bite. It's what I usually grab when I'm at the Rose and Crown at Epcot. Half harp, half cider. Cheers. Across the street is the old Massachusetts State House where the Declaration of Independence was read right there from that second balcony. Also down on the street below, that uh that brick area that's where the boston massacre happened Craig, come back over to Government Center, check out Pizza Fest, the line for Pizza Fest. If there's no line, I'm gonna walk in. I'll get a couple slices of pizza. It's only $3 a slice of pizza out here at Pizza Fest. And then we're going to a whole other location, a place I didn't even think, didn't even think about it this morning when I woke up this morning. Didn't know that there was gonna be this event out there tonight. Definitely unplanned part of this detour. Here is the official end of the line to Pizza Fest 2023 out here. What time is it? Four o'clock. Pizza Fest ends at 6 p.m. This line is still formally formulating outside of Government Center for Pizza Fest. Yeah, so the line finally comes back up this way, which brings you to the gates of Pizza Fest. I'm not the guy. I'm not getting in this line. I don't have an Emmy. It's only open for two more hours. Three dollars is a good good price for a slice of pizza, but I am not the guy. I am not one to let you guys down, so I'm gonna give you some Pizza Fest action just from, you know, the outside of the fence. But here's what you're seeing when you're in Pizza Fest. Like I said earlier, I believe there's like 30 different pizza makers inside of Pizza Fest. All the pizza vendors have their own personal pizza ovens, just like this one. Oh, there's a fresh pizza. That's the freshest pizza out here at Pizza Fest. All these pizza ovens making that pizza. I like it. I need a slice of that pizza. I just can't wait in the line. I got a five dollar bill for a slice of pizza. Are you? Oh yeah. Okay. I think I'm getting a piece of pizza right now. These guys just hooked me up with a free slice of pizza. I said, no man, let me give you that five dollar tip because you're doing the, the good work today. Dollar Posta. All right. What's the name of your company? Dollar Posta. Dollar Posta. Yeah, 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 man. Well, I gave you $5 for this pizza. I hope it's worth it, brother. Five bucks? 
Yeah. Right, let me get you another one. No, 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 you don't have to. No, no. So, you have a uh, big, big line right there, people, right, on your pizza. You got the QR code? Well, you got it, brother. All right, cool. Thank you. Pizza Fest 2023, Boston, Mass. Thank you, guys. This was a delicious slice of margarita pizza. See, I'm a good guy. I could easily just sneak in through this gate right here and no one even knows I'm inside a Pizza Fest. But I'm not that guy. I'm a good guy. I'm not a bad guy. So, you know, I'm not going to bypass that line and get the easy way into Pizza Fest. I'm just saying I can just walk right in like that girl did. Pizza contest race in four years, right? This is the fourth annual one. This was very, very close. To be quite honest with you, the top six finished within 10 volts of each other. The top six. So, as I said before, if you're a bum, you're not at this pizza festival. These are all quality people, quality pizza. That's why they're here. There are no losers today. There's all winners. All of us, all of you guys, this is the closest race ever. I don't know. What do you think? Will they jump on mine? Uh, oh, oh, I got to get that selfie. I would no longer call Pizza Fest a bus for me. I got myself a slice of pizza. I experienced a little bit of Pizza Fest from the outside of Pizza Fest. We're going to get on the green line and go to the second topic of tonight's detour. I think we can get on this green line and go to the next destination. All right, I'm giving this homie his first tip for tonight. Yes, sir. Johnny with the subway acoustics. Yes, sir. As we stand here beneath the legendary Sitco sign outside of Fenway Park, the rain has started, the skies have opened up. But nothing's going to keep us from hanging out at a Grateful Dead tailgate party. I think I'm going to have to take cover underneath this tree right now or head inside 7-Eleven or McDonald's. It's pouring. With my black cloud luck, this tree will definitely get struck by lightning just because I'm standing underneath it. The rain has stopped as we stand here above the Massachusetts Turnpike heading westbound in the shadows of Fenway Park. The clouds are moving away from the area. The only clouds in the area pretty soon are gonna be the pungent smell of ganja all around Fenway Park. It's a Grateful Dead show, guys. Oh, you could definitely smell the sticky icky outside, the cask and flag and everybody. Hey, listen, it's legal here in Mass. Got myself an ice water and an ice cold Bud Light. I wonder if you told the owner of Fenway Park back when this picture was taken back in the day that the Grateful Dead's final Boston show would be tonight, June 25th. 2023 at this very ballpark well they'd probably say who in the blue hell are the grateful dead boston's famous lansdowne street tonight has transformed to shakedown street the road is closed off and there's just thousands of deadheads roaming the streets of well shakedown street I know I keep on saying the Grateful Dead. It's actually Dead and Company. It's the surviving members of the Grateful Dead and John Mayer. I brought you out here a couple years ago for a detour. I think it was my first year, so like seven years ago. And the video was ripped from YouTube for copyright. So I won't be filming too much. Well, I'm not even going to the show tonight. As of now, I'm not going to the show. But I just plan on walking around and documenting what's going on down here at Shakedown Street. I may have to pay this guy to take me a Tasty Burger. You know, ta money. Tasty Burger ain't a far ride. It's not far, but I, my, all my money's over here. So if you're saying go away from your money to get a burger, you're going to pay me to pick What up. if I get a sack of five burgers and I give you two of the burgers? I, don't take it personal. It's going to be light. I'm getting 50s over here. Oh, okay. Well, good not luck personal. to you tonight. Not personal. Okay, so I apparently walked the wrong way down Lansdowne Street. I just talked to the, uh, you know, that, that guy that showed these around. What is it, the rickshaw? Just talked to that guy. He said, no, 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 the party is across the street in the parking lot across the street from Lansdowne. I mean, uh, what's this called? Yeah, Lansdowne. He goes, that's where Shakedown Street is. I'm not gonna lie though, it's a pretty good time down here too. Okay, right across the street from Yaki Way is where we need to be going. 
to that parking lot over there. I got ice cold water, Gatorade, coconut water. This water is definitely cheaper than it was back at Woodstock. Three dollars of water, five dollars for everything else. Got myself a Gatorade. Of course, they're selling the grilled cheese here at the Dead Show. Get five dollar coffee over here. Sick. Selling the grilled cheese over here too. Grilled cheese, step right up. Man, those burgers look good. Selling some art out here. I feel like I'm at a convention. Pretty rad T-shirts. I'm taking those. Oh damn, they're selling the Narragansett out here. That's what Quick drank on the Orca. $20 for pizza. Selling some Grateful Dead Beanie Babies out here. Some pretty cool jewelry out here. Oh, this guy's cooking some ribs up over here. Looks like a kid's birthday party out here, Jesus. Damn, they got a full bar here. There are a lot of t-shirts in this tent. Christmas tree ornaments, nice. Oh man, I haven't been inside Bill's Bar in years, maybe decades. Yeah, let's check out what's going on inside Bill's Bar. There's a good shot right there of the exterior of the MGM Music Hall here at Fenway, right here at the end of Lansdowne Street. I'm getting perfect audio right now of Dead & Company inside Fenway Park. 
out here, the Carl Yastrzemski Yaz statue and Ted Williams right down there. There we are, technically we're in Sutton Tenway Park now. Tasty Burger is no longer here. Are you effing kidding me? Hanging outside the former Tasty Burger is this sign out here looking like it's from the movie Clerks. Letting us know that they've moved. Venice, we can, telling us to visit them at their new location right around the corner. How far is this walk to Tasty Burger? Here I am freaking out for no reason. The former Tasty Burger right there. It's literally... Right over there, the next corner down, the new home of the Tasty Burger. If you guys follow this channel, you know that Tasty Burger is hands down my favorite hamburger here in the Boston, Massachusetts area. That bacon cheeseburger looks so non-nutritious, but so good at the same time. Check out those tater tots. Perfectly cooked. That beer, definitely cold. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Of course, referring to the classic Saturday Night Live skit, starring John Belushi. It looks like Arthur Fonzarelli, AKA the Fonz is a cheater. No longer hanging out at Arnold's or Al's, now hanging out at Tasty Burger. That is pretty trippy. It's a beautiful art. We're outside the Boston Arts Academy. Action right here looking out into Fenway Park. Jerry, you missed out here tonight, brother. Gonna say goodbye tonight to the Sitco sign, say goodbye tonight to the Fenway Park area. Get back on that Green Line D train back to Riverside. I have made it back safely to Riverside train station. I did not get murdered by the guy tweaking on acid in the rear of this train. Well, that's gonna be it for this detour, documenting a summer Sunday in Boston, Massachusetts. I know most of my viewers visit my channel for the Salem, Massachusetts content, and I thank you guys. I, I appreciate the fact that you love those videos. I love those videos. But I think during the summer, I'm going to concentrate more on my Boston content and, you know, and save the, the Salem stuff for, you know, the fall, the fall months. I'm there quite a bit. So if you want to see some more Boston content, I invite you to check out my Boston, Massachusetts Adventures playlist here on my YouTube channel. I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to those Detour fans that help support the channel by donating monthly to my Patreon page. Big shout out to Karen O'Reilly, Marshall Brown, Peter Jargalos, Dane Lavender, Steve Davis, C. Marie, David Goldman, Matthew Harton, Hubie Dubois, Vicente, Megan Milliman, Francis Arpea, Stephen Brady, Emilio Flores, Danielle Benedenti, Jeff Knudsen, John Bryson, Ron Crocker, Easy Eddie Z, Vesper and Ollie Anderson, Joel Riendo, James Schimmelman, Tenacious Day, Kansas Girl Abroad, Runty and Mr. Beanie, Sandra Mialos, Joe and Stacy, Steve White, and Poochie D. 
Thank you guys so much for digging my channel enough that you want to help support it financially with your monthly donations. I love each and every one of you. You guys are my, my, my biggest supporters, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, and of course, cheers, my friends. You know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps more people see the video. Leave a comment down below. I always answer all the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to Detours. Click that red subscribe button. When I click it away, click that small bell. It'll give you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new Detour. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. I also have a Facebook group, Derek Millen's Detours. And as always, I'll catch you on the next Detour.